As we look at building our immune system through nutrition, we can look at things like garlic and ginger and different foods, but what about herbs? I'd like to look at another component of building our immune system. Yes, our foods can build our immune system, but what about the herbs? Actually, we can actually set these guys over here and use them as herbs. As we look at using herbs to build the immune system that God has given us, we can use herbs in different ways. We can use it as, as just using the, the raw herb where we're using it, such as the onion or the ginger, whether, we, whether it's eating it raw or whether it's making a tea out of it. But as we look at the herbs, as we can fix them, we, we usually don't look at just taking echinacea and eating echinacea. So how do we use echinacea in order to build our immune system? There's several ways. We can take the raw herb and we can make capsules out of it. And you powderize it and put it in capsules. Or you can take and make a tea out of it. And that's very easy. You just take your water, bring it to a bowl, turn it off, and you either make an infusion or a decoction. Now, kind of interesting words. An infusion is where you take soft herbs, like let's say we have cat's claw here. Or let's we say we have the turmeric or the golden seal, and we want to make a tea. It's delicate things we make an infusion with. And what I'll do is I'll take the, uh, the water, I'll bring it to a bowl, and then I turn it off. And when it quits bubbling, I then put my herb in there and let it sit for at least th uh, 30 minutes, or maybe even overnight. If I'm making a decoction, which are harder things, like uh, barks, so we've got like uh, ginger root uh, or hard root items or bark items or hard berries like um, hawthorn berry. Then we make a decoction. And what you do is you take your water to a boil, turn it down to simmer, and then you, when, it's go, when it quits bubbling, I'll put my herb in there or plant material, and then I'll simmer it for about 20 minutes and then turn it off. When it cools down, you can strain it and then drink it. So that's eating it raw, or whether you're making a, a capsule out of it, or where you're making a tea, but then you can make extracts. And that's what we have right here. We have an extract of elderberry, and the extracts actually last longer, and you can take it with you. You don't have to make, worry about making a tea. And the extract usually uses something like vegetable glycerin, to uh, stabilize it, and you can make your different herbs into extracts. Another way of doing it is essential oils. And the essential oil is, it can either be um, uh, pressed or it can be distilled to make the essential oil. The essential oil then will last even longer. It's much more powerful. Like one drop of peppermint essential oil, you would have to drink 28 cups of peppermint tea to have the same medicinal benefit. So as we look at the different ways we can use herbs, uh, we want to use it whatever works best for us at the time we're using. So our topic today is looking at herbs or food, which are herbs, using those herbs to build our immune system. So what are some of them? One of my favorite is this guy right here, garlic. Garlic is phenomenal in uh, building the immune system. You can, um, you can put it in your food, you can juice it in your juice, uh, you can put it in your smoothie, you can, all kinds of ways to use it. Another one, a great one, is ginger. Uh, I like using ginger in my, in my juices. Uh, we can put it in our smoothies, and a great way just to add that to our nutrition. But what about some of the herbs that we make teas out of? There's sumaroot, builds the immune system. One of my favorites is golden seal. Now, if you live in the mountains of Appalachia, we have an herb called um, yellow root, or we call it yellow root. And yellow root is actually like a Siamese twin to golden seal. If you don't have golden seal, you can use uh, the, uh, the yellow root, and it will do the same thing. A little on the stout st standpoint when you're drinking it, but it's extremely effective on building the immune system. Now, golden seal is one of the herbs, and echinacea is one that you may want to use just two weeks, stop two weeks, go two weeks, stop two weeks, because they're antibiotics, natural antibiotics. And just like we don't use Cipro all the time, or we don't use vancomycin all the time, 
these herbs here, we have to go a little while, about two weeks, stop two weeks, come back, or we, the effectiveness or efficacy drops. Uh, another one is cat's claw, builds the immune system. And this is one that we're, many of y'all are familiar with, and that's turmeric. Again, you can put it in your food. Mary Lou makes brown rice a lot, and she will put turmeric in our brown rice. A lot of your Indian foods have a lot of turmeric in it, and turmeric's going to build your immune system. Another favorite of mine, I have a lot of favorite herbs. Another favorite of mine is elderberries. Elderberries will grow a lot of places in North America, and you can put your own elderberry bush in, and um, you can grow your own herbs right there. You know, God gave us these herbs first to use. Like, you know, you can grow your, your, your beets, you can grow your blueberries, you can grow your, your, uh, your onions, your celery, your tomatoes, and you put it up for the winter. Well, God gave us herbs that we also can put up for the winter for when we need that immune system. And elderberry is one of my favorites in building the immune system. Again, here's elderberry extract where you can make it, you can either make a tea out of the elderberries or you can do what my granddad did. My great granddad, uh, he lived to 105 and a half. He was an old veterinarian. And every night before he went to bed, he'd take a handful of raisins and he'd take a coffee cup and he'd put it in the coffee cup and he'd pour hot water on it, real hot water, and then he'd go to bed. The next morning he would get up and he would drink his raisin tea. And then for breakfast, he would eat his raisins. Well, you can do the same thing with elderberries, with goji berries. You can put them in a cup, pour your hot water on it, go to bed, let it make a tea all night long. When you get up in the morning, drink that elderberry tea and then pour it over your, your cereal or whatever and eat the elderberries for breakfast. Excellent for building your immune system. Unlike golden seal, unlike echinacea, you don't have to worry about the elderberry. You don't have to worry about using it long term. You can use it for a good while, the, the elderberries, and it's not going to have that problem that the golden seal or the echinacea has where you can only use it for two weeks. Another one we have is Siberian ginseng. There's different types of ginseng. In the mountains we have uh, American ginseng. And ginseng is really good also to build your immune system, it gives you energy. But Siberian ginseng is excellent for building that immune system. Hyssop, remember David? David in the Bible talked about purging your body with hyssop. Well, actually hyssop is also good to build your immune system. Again, we have the echinacea, and there's different kinds of echinacea. There's echinacea angustifolia, there's echinacea poporia. Depending on which one you, you're gonna use, uh, based on what the immune system issue is, or you can combine them and use both of them. Ginkgo biloba. Now, ginkgo is another great one to use, especially as we get older. Ginkgo is great for the brain to keep that circulation going, but guess what? It also helps your immune system. So ginkgo is another great tea they can use, and not only to build your immune system, like times that we're in right now that we have to worry about in this COVID where we're trying to keep our immune system high, but also keeps that brain functioning well so we can discern God's word. But also, we, we can make right decisions, whether it's spiritual or whether it's dealing with world issues. Ginkgo is excellent for that. And our other one is ginger. Again, we got the ginger here, and then this is where your fresh ginger, so if you want to make a ginger tea, you can scrape this, uh, and uh, you don't even have to scrape it. You can just cut it up a little bit so you have more surface area put it in your hot water, make your decoction, it's a little harder, uh, make that decoction where you let it simmer for 20 minutes, or you can dry your ginger and put that in there and, uh, and make your ginger tea. Again, God is so tremendous. He's given us foods not only to give us great nutrition, and these guys can also be great nutrition, the, the dried herbs, but he's also given us food that we can put up. We can put up for the winter, where we can put up our, our apples, we can put up our, uh, our, 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 uh, our blueberries and our beets and whatever. We can put it up so we have it during the winter when we don't have food growing in our garden. He's done the same thing with our herbs, so we can put it up and we can use it in the wintertime or when they're growing during the summertime, we can use it when needed. I hope you all enjoy your herbs.